Welcome everyone to the Modern Skein Podcast. My name is Sharon Graff and I'm the owner of the Modern Skein, which is a yarn store here in Montgomery County. Montgomery, yeah, we're Montgomery County and Montgomery downtown city. I haven't had enough coffee this morning. Anyway, thank you so much for joining in on the podcast. If you are a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back and bearing with some shenanigans that happen on the podcast. And if you're a new viewer, welcome, and we hope you will enjoy it and subscribe to the future episodes. It's been a little while since I podcasted. Um, I guess I did do it last week, but this week has been delayed. I'm podcasting later than I normally would because life happens and get busy and all the things. So there will not be a podcast next week though, however, because next week is our three-year anniversary with Josh and I, um, our wedding anniversary. So we're going on a mini getaway vacation and we're just going to enjoy ourselves and have a lot of fun and I'm not going to worry about trying to podcast. So we will skip a week after this and then you will see another one. Um, So in two weeks time. But first, let's go into, I have a flyaway here. You may notice if you're a regular viewer that I chopped my hair. I did. I love it. Love it. Love it. Long bob. So it's shorter in the back, longer in the front. And it normally looks a little bit shorter, but it's not holding a curl this morning because this was all curled and now it's flat. But this isn't a hair podcast. I don't know why it's flat. It's not even humid today. And I sprayed hairspray. Okay, any styling tips for a long bob, feel free to comment below. Because I think I need a curling iron. I'm just using a flat iron and some hair pomade and hairspray. And I don't think that's doing it this really fell. It's like I had it all cute and pretty. Oh well. This is a yarn and knitting podcast, not a hairstyling podcast. So let's move on to finished objects. And I finished something. Any guesses? Boom. This is the Norderney sweater. By Isabel Kramer. And it is all done, except for weaving in the ends. But it has been blocked, and it's so cozy and amazing. So, the yarn is Harrisville Designs um, Nightshades, and the pattern is Norderney by Isabel Kramer. It's a lovely, lovely pattern to knit. It has a little bit of cabling and some texture stitches, but Even for someone who's fairly new to cables, it would be a good introductory pattern. There's some shoulder shaping. Um, Sleeves are easy, it's just pick up and knit. No set in sleeves or raglan shaping or anything like that. So it is kind of a drop shoulder, a wee bit. Slightly boxy, there's no waist shaping, but you don't have to knit it totally oversized. Mine has just a few inches of positive ease. And again, the yarn is Norderney, uh, no, that's the pattern. The yarn is Harrisville Designs Nightshades, which is a DK. The pattern calls for DK. You do not have to knit it in such a rustic wool that that is. That's 100% American Cormo. You could definitely knit it in just about any regular superwash or non-superwash DK weight yarn. And you will get an amazing sweater out of it. Um, I would also kind of consider it, I'll say, somewhat of a unisex sweater. It has a little bit of a scoop neck, but it's not like a plunging scoop or anything like that. It's just a little bit dropped from a crew neck. A little bit of sleeve shaping, no waist shaping. Excuse me. And the pattern... Seriously? The pattern is just a nice cable diamond effect, so you could easily make this into um, 
a sweater for a guy, gal. I suppose if you wanted to do the math, you could make it a sweater for a dog or a cat. That's too much math involved, but they're super cute. So that's the only finished object that I have this week. I do have a couple projects I'm working on. I'm still working on my turtle dove. I did bind off the body. However, I tried it on before I bound it off. Thought it was good. Bound it off. Now I feel like it's too short. So I'm going to wait till it block it. Till it. Till I block it. To decide if I take out the hem and knit it longer. Because it will most likely grow with blocking because remember I've, this is the second time I've knit it and it grew last time so I'm working on a sleeve right now probably won't knit on it for the rest of the week or next week because I don't think I'm even going to take it with me I think instead I'm going to cast something else on because it's an anniversary trip and I should cast on something new I already cast on one thing new when I cast off Norderney, so we'll get to that in a minute. But first, my other newer project is a shawl, actually. The Stephen West shawl, fairly new, Sereno Symphony. And of course, I'm in the middle of a row. But this uses the Melted Baby Surrey and Fingering Weight yarn. So fluffy. So we're just now into this section, which will be the bubble section. Um, let's see. Find the picture here. So that's the shawl, and so I'm just starting on this section here. It is an extremely fun knit. You just need two skeins of fingering weight yarn, and then three skeins in three different colors of the Melted Baby Surrey by Ching Fiber, or the um, Surrey, what's he call it? Oh, I can't think of the name. Red Stag Fiber has a Surrey, Surrey and Silk base. You could also swap that instead, and that would be really pretty. So my colors are, my main background color of non-Surrey yarn is Blue Finch by Ching. Then I have the uh, Dirt colorway in Surrey. I went ahead and did Monochromatic and did Blue Finch in Surrey. And then we're just now popping with Night. And night is a really cool, that's the night color. So it's this navy blue and black with little white specks. This is dirt. This is blue finch on Surrey. And this is, of course, blue finch on fingering. And I'm throwing, I'm throwing it around. Okay. So that has been taking up most of my time. However, I'm futzing with my hair again. Anyway, uh, the other thing that I've cast on, I'm a little hesitant to show you because it's a gift. I'm pretty sure the person that will be receiving this does not watch my podcast. Hmm. Do I show it or not? Because if I say the name and they do watch, they'll know it's probably for them. Oh, I'm just going to do it anyway. So I um, splurged the other day and ordered um, from Stephen and Penelope. So this is yarn that I don't carry. I carry lots of DK, but I don't carry this brand. It's Walt Collection. And I got yarn to do a Vertices United, United, Vertices Unite baby blanket. And that's section one. 
And yes, these are actually the original coral colors, coral and red. Because um, if you look at the pattern, there's the original coral and the original blue. And I picked the coral color. So, hopefully she's not watching. But this walk collection yarn is amazing. So this is color one, or A. This is color B. And I don't remember what letter this is, but that's another color. That. And this super fun one. And so all of that is going together to become a Vertices Unite baby blanket, which will be awesome. Construction is fairly similar to the Vertices Unite shawl. Um, the sections are obviously smaller um, and they go faster because it's DK and not fingering weight. Oh, excuse me. I don't know why I'm yawning so much. I got good sleep last night. Um, but that is a very fun pattern and a very engaging knit. There's been several ladies here in the shop that have knit the Vertices Unite baby blanket and they love it. Um, of course, there's been several people that knit Vertices Unite shawls and they also love it. Um, if you're making the large of the Vertices Unite shawl, there are section A and section C can take a long time and you you might get a little like I'm ready to be done and move on to the next section but once you're done with those two everything else flies by so that is it for works in progress um, on my trip I haven't decided yet what I'm going to cast on I've actually got a hankering to do something very soft and spring like and not my normal moody, not moody, I don't say I'm moody colors, but my normal grays and navies. And that would be to cast on a, um, name just went out of my head. It's by, and her name just went out of my head, Petite Knit. Yeah, Petite Knit, no frill sweater, that's it. Um, and some Suburban Stitcher yarn that I have that I got from the trunk show, which is kind of my color, but also very not my color. It's the La Boheme. So you've got the creams and you got a little gray and there's a little bit of blue in there, but then there's also kind of, kind of some peaches and some greens and a little of pink, but it's really pretty. And I think that would be a fun spring-like knit to knit up. And I may take a cue from Christine from Christina from Chelsea Yarns and do a short sleeve version of the sweater instead of long sleeve. So it's a little more wearable. Like right now I'm loving the Soldatna crop from Caitlin Hunter because it's short sleeve, it's a little bit cropped, it's super wearable. Same with um, Nordiska three-quarter length sleeves, more on the crop side, very wearable for here, and for most body shapes, really. Um, so I'm thinking I may do a, I don't know if I'd do cropped yet, but at least not a long, um, it would at least just hit me right at the waist. Um, no frill sweater. So I may cast, cast that on for the trip. I've also been wanting to knit the um, Hohe Wrap. Is it Hohe Wrap? It's the big rectangle one that she knit for her friend. I don't think she calls it the Hohe Wrap. She calls it her friend's name. And I just totally forgot. But it's a big garter rectangle and then the edging. Why can't I think of the names? I've been wanting to do that. Um, also have the, goodness, I also have the, I just can't seem to remember the names. It's a sweater by, I'm going to butcher her name, Yonko Okamata, 
I apologize for that. Um, bouquet. That's it. The bouquet sweater. I have the yarn for that. It's going to be the same black base for my main color as the Norderney. And then popping it with a, this kind of peach tan brown yarn that I have that I got on a trip. Um, however, working with the nightshades is a little bit hard on the hands at the gauge that I was doing. I need to look on the bouquet pattern and see if I'm using the same needle size and trying to get the same gauge or if it's a little bit looser. I feel like it's a little bit looser, not quite as, as dense of a knit, but I could be mistaken. Um, so I may just want to give my hands a little bit of a break between working with that yarn again. And coming soon, I think I mentioned this before, but I splurged and joined West Knits Yarn Along. So we've been told that the package will ship no later than May 10th. So I'm hoping that it arrives right after we get back and I can jump into whatever the amazing pattern and yarn is for that. Okay, I seem to have been rambling on, not for that long, according to the camera, but about random things. So let's move on to some things that have come into the store. Uh, first off, we did get a nice supply if you are interested in straight wooden needles. If you're looking to gift some wooden needles straight to a friend to learn to knit, things like that. We have a nice supply um, in stock of 10 inch Leicas uh, in a variety, I think five through nine sizes. And they pair up really great with a skein of Scout and Kelborn Woolens. You could give that as a little gift. Great little graduation gift with maybe um, a note card of your favorite learn to knit videos from YouTube. Um, or we have the Knit How book which is a step-by-step -step book on how to learn to knit. That with a skein of yarn and the straight needles, that would be a perfect little starter gift or graduation gift or Mother's Day gift for someone who has expressed interest in learning to knit but doesn't know yet or maybe needs a refresher. That'd be a great little starter gift for them. They can get their hands into some nice non-acrylic, um, non-Walmart yarn and and get a feel for knitting the fun stuff. I mean, Walmart, not Walmart, but Hobby Lobby, Michaels, Red Heart, that kind of yarn always has its place. But it's so much more fun to knit with fun yarn and nice yarn. So once you, once you dive in, it's hard to go back, except when you know you're doing a specific project that requires something that you know, you would need an acrylic yarn or a, a cheaper yarn for. Absolutely. Okay. Now, we got in needles. We're getting in another big shipment of Chaigu needles. So if the needle you were looking for has been out of stock um, this past week, or you were looking for um, different sizes of the Chaigu bamboo tips or Chaigu crochet hooks or anything like that, that order should be arriving next week, so stay tuned for that. We got in a shipment from Hedgehog Fibers of Merino DK. So all the colors I'm going to show you are only, well, all we got in is Merino DK. I may have these colors still left up on the wall in sock or single ply, but what we got in in this batch is our DK. I they are not the brand new colors they just released. Those are coming, but they are they have not arrived yet. So this is Anime on DK. Really nice soft gray base with fun neon speckles. That would make a really fun sweater. Because you'd be really kind of soft and neutral, but fun pops. Taffy, one of one of her newer colors. Very pretty. Nice um, peachy pinky with pops of teal and orange. I'm not a pink fan, but I even like this one. 
Monet. That's not a new one. We have Monet, though. It's not a new one. I don't know why it got pulled off the wall. Hawk on DK. You'll notice on DK there's a lot more of the gold and mustard colors and not as much black, but it's still a gorgeous, gorgeous color. Uh, sorry. This is a little bit pinker than the sorry that we've had in the past, but it's a gorgeous, gorgeous color. Hurricane, a lovely dark blue, brown, purple color. Deep end, it's a bit more teal than it's showing up on camera, but it is a lovely color. This is Lagoon bright teal and bright green. Beach Bunny. Nice soft, soft, kind of sea foamy blue with pinks and oranges and tans and sand. It's just, it says summer. This is Iris, which is a lovely kind of um, washed out lavender gray color with teals and purples and yellows it's really pretty and then drk so this is the andrea maori colorway but on dk so it you've got that green you've got the pinks and you've got the bright colors beautiful beautiful this would be really cool if you did a weekender out of the drk um, or pretty much any Andrea Maori pattern out of the Andrea Maori colorway. I think that would be pretty awesome. I actually haven't seen anything on Instagram yet of anyone doing that. I don't know why. I think they should. Maybe you should do it. Okay, that is all. Um, quick, I'll say housekeeping and notes of events coming up. This Saturday is our, um, not our, but I guess it is our, it's local yarn store day. Getting all technical. It's local yarn store day on April 27th. So be sure and come by and say hi. We're going to have a trunk show by Lisa Urban, the knitting artist. She's going to be bringing her yarn, her prints that inspire her hand-dyed yarns, and some of her original art pieces as well. So come by and say hi. We're going to have um, exclusive yarn from Dream and Color Yarn. We're going to have exclusive pattern with purchase from Casapinka. We're going to have kits from Forbidden Fiber Company with, that include a pattern and some notions. And we're going to have an exclusive colorway from Red Stag Fiber as well. Uh, the Red Stag Fiber colorway will be on his BFL DK and BFL Fingering yarn, so you'll have two options for that. And there's also some specials with the issues of Pom Pom Magazine and some of the other books that we're going to have. We're going to have some sales on that. We're going to have our sale cart full, so if you're looking for some discounted yarn, be sure and check out the sale cart. Of course, we have tons of... Melted Baby Surrey in stock. We have lots of Ching fibers. We have lots of Hedgehog right now. We have a nice supply of mohair and just all of your knitting um, needs. We have lots of notions as well. We just have been totally restocked in Coco Knits products. So we have everything pretty much that Coco Knits makes we have. Um, we don't have the leather handles or um, that's really about it. Um, pretty much if they if they wholesale it I have it here in the store we have lots of pins we have lots of tuft woolens hand balm and eucalyn and silk wash we've got linen we've got cotton blends we've got the recycled cotton denim lots of fun uh, different fibers to knit with for spring so be sure and come by I'm trying to look and see what else is new. Oh, we have the new issue of Making Magazine. I still have three copies left, so if you're interested in that, um, it is available. We also have back issues, the black and white, which was really sought after. I do have that in stock and I have the color issue in stock as well. 
So thank you so much for tuning in. This is a little bit shorter episode, but we got everything covered that we need to. Oh, I said local yarn store day. So the other events that we have going on is um, in June, we will be exhibiting at Houston Viber Fest. So be sure and come by and say hi. Uh, to get into the exhibit hall of Houston Viber Fest, it is free. So you do not have to pay to attend the vendor hall. It is paying for the events. And if you want to enter the raffle, I believe there is a charge for a ticket for that. Um, and then... Coming up in August, August 19th through 25th. Sorry, I'm turning because I have a little sign right over there that I'm, I'm cheating and reading off of. August 19th through the 25th is the first annual Houston area yarn crawl um, that we will be participating in. So if you are interested in registering for that, it is a $15 registration fee. You do have to be registered by mid, early to mid July. And it is... Excuse me, the yarn trail, T R A I L dot big cartel dot com. So be sure and sign up for that. And hopefully, we will see you in the store very soon. Just a reminder on Tuesdays, we have all day sit and stitch. On um, Fridays, we have sit and stitch in the afternoons typically. People start arriving right around lunchtime. And then on Saturday mornings, it is sit and stitch. And we are still having sit and stitch on this coming Saturday. We have plenty of spots in the front room and it the weather is supposed to be gorgeous. So you guys can take over the patio of the coffee shop too next door as well if you want it outside. So I hope to see you guys on Saturday. I hope to see you in the shop sometime soon or maybe online on Instagram via web order, whatever. So thank you so much for tuning in and I really do appreciate you giving a thumbs up, liking, and subscribing if you enjoyed the podcast. Thanks again and we'll see you soon. Bye.